Hi, it's Carly from the Enquirer, and I'm here with the Motorola Razr I, which Motorola launched at an event today. The standout thing about this phone is that it's the first phone to come powered by a 2 GHz Intel Atom processor. While that doesn't sound all that impressive on paper, um, Motorola have told us that it's twice as fast as the leading dual-core smartphones on the market and hinted that it may be faster than the iPhone 5. However, the first thing that you'll notice about the handset is its design. It's extremely thin at just 8.3mm thick and it feels really light in the hand at just 126 grams. You'll notice like the older Razer handsets, it's also got a Kevlar backing. This is the same material used to make things such as bulletproof vests, so Motorola assures us that this handset is protected from pretty much anything. This also adds to the lightweight feel of the handset as it's much lighter than aluminium. The screen also comes coated in Corning's Gorilla Glass, which means it shouldn't get any scratches either. And the whole handset comes equipped with a waterproof coating, so you should be able to drop it in the sink, pick it straight up and use it again. In this casing, there's a 4.3 inch edge to edge screen. It's one of the first smartphones to feature an edge to edge screen and as you can see it does look really really nice. Its resolution is 540 by 960 and it comes coated in super AMOLED tech which means it really is really bright and vibrant. In terms of software, the phone is running Google's slightly dated Android 4.0 Android ice cream sandwich software but Motorola told us that an update to Jelly Bean will be coming in the near future. As you can see, it also comes equipped with a custom user interface from Motorola. One of our favourite things about this is the new Circles widget, which as you can see here, it displays the time, weather and settings, and you can flip those around. Another interesting thing is that Motorola have equipped it with just three home screens. That one is Settings, this is the main screen, and that one you can customise and add extra pages. This makes the handset feel a lot less cluttered than the likes of the HTC One X and Samsung Galaxy S3 that do come with quite heavy custom user interfaces. On the back of the handset, you'll find an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera, and Motorola tells us it's one of the quickest cameras on the market. As you can see, if we press the physical camera button here, it launches in less than one second, meaning you should never miss the perfect photo. It's also capable of taking 10 photos in less than one second, which is quite impressive. Other features include a VGA webcam on the front of the handset for video calling, and there's a 2000 milliamp battery under the hood, which impressively Motorola claims can last 20 hours of talk time, making it one of the best on the market. We'll be putting the Razer Eye through its paces this week, so check back for our full hands-on review.